Good morning, you guys. I am Katie, all the lost ones on the internet. Um, it's nice to meet you. Welcome to another daily video. If you've seen all of them, then you are awesome and amazing, and I love you. If you didn't know that already, now you know. Anyway, I am in full support of local metal bands, so this is my Spiral Fracture shirt. Uh, so if you're into metal, please check them out. They're local to me in Richmond, Virginia, so definitely listen to their music. I love them. They're very good guys, so anyway. <clears throat> That's not what this video is going to be about, but I just wanted to support them. Um, not the only local metal band that I listen to, but definitely love these guys. Um, so, what was I going to say? Hold on, backtrack. Alright, um, I was going to talk about <laughs> my uh, almost accident yesterday on the highway. So, I believe I was going down 64... I always forget what part of the highways I'm on. I don't know. I was going on a highway to go pick up Barry. And, like, the exit that I take to get on these other exits that I take, yes, that's how I tell stories. The exits to the exits to the other exits. Um, yeah, there was almost, like, it wasn't just me that almost got in this accident. It was, like, a whole slew of cars. You know how you hear about those, like, six-car, seven-car pileups? Well, we all avoided that. Like all of us it was intense scary i screamed i was having a panic attack i was not okay i was freaking out now i didn't pull off to the side of the road even though my panic attack was starting to make my hands i don't know if you've ever had these like hyperventilation panic attacks but they're very frightening um like my hands were like starting to like go like this or whatever i can't explain it but i couldn't move them and i was starting to go numb and stuff it's very frightening. If I pulled myself out of it, I was still driving. Should have pulled off to the side of the road, really. But in my, I was not in my right hat. I just had to go get buried and I had to get back to work and I was just freaking out. But yeah, so this is just to say PSA to people, PS, public service announcement. I was trying to figure out if I said that right. I have no idea. But anyway, please watch the road. This is why, because let's just say, let's just say I was one of those people that's on their cell phone going, you know, for like five seconds. That's all it took. If I had not been looking at the moments I had been looking, I would have rear-ended the person in front of me. And it wouldn't have been pretty for myself, probably not pretty for them, nor the person behind me. Like, please watch where you're going. Just don't follow so closely. Like, why do you got to be all up on somebody's bumper like this? And I understand. Sometimes we get angry. Sometimes we do. It happens to the best of us, really. Honestly, if you say that I've never ridden that closely, you're lying. Because I know you have. Um, everyone's done it. Everyone gets angry. But honestly, your day-to-day -day driving, you, you should really any driving we just we need to calm down i'm getting better at my road rage like i am not the best one to be giving advice on road rage but i am the best person to give advice for trying to overcome your road rage because i have severe road rage issues i am not a nice person but all i'm saying is that moment like a lot flashed before me like I realized like I was so lucky some people are not that lucky like I hear about all the time on the news um, you know all the time car wrecks car accidents car accident this side the other falling too closely well looking at their cell phone whatever it is they saw a butterfly all I want to say is just be careful because you really don't know when it's going to be your last day because I've seen accidents like that and then heard about on the news and there were no survivors like that's frightening to me I'm so lucky that it wasn't any of us and we all did the right thing and I swerved like I slammed on my brakes and I had to swerve into the like pull off lane or whatever on the shoulder scary when I tell you that was the scariest moment like that is probably the single most scariest almost accident I've ever been in like and I've been in almost accidents a lot where I've avoided them avoided hitting someone avoided you know people almost coming over into my lane and pushing me off the road stuff like I've overcome a lot driving in my 
14 whatever years of driving but this was terrifying to me so I just wanted to share that story just to kind of give you guys that story of watch where you're going just watch where please watch where you're going stop looking at your cell phone like the texts that you have they can wait please stop snapchatting when you are driving like holding your phone like I know I used to do live things but I mainly what I would do is watch the road and I would barely pay attention to what I was doing on the live thing like even that is wrong so we just need to get better just now nowadays I keep my device in my back pocket or um, I like put it between my legs <laughs> so honestly like just please for me for me and all the people that are on the road because honestly I feel like if any one of those people was not really paying attention could have been really 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 catastrophic so anyway I love you guys I'm still here we survived another day so here's another day go support your local metal bands if you don't like metal then support whoever's local for artistry to you like if you like pop music, reggae, whatever, you know, classical, find something local to you to support because they need it. And they're amazing. Sometimes you find the best people who you didn't even know and they live right down the road or whatever, basically. All right, love you, bye. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow day.